What's up guys, Ricky here, back with another art kit video. A few days ago, I worked with one of our project team members to design a art gallery or a small home on stilts. So this is gonna be um, the process of building the, that up back for you guys. So we have um, this landscape right here, which is already done. And um, our home is going to be elevated above this section of the landscape here. So say if it's an art gallery, this under area could be used for parking. Um, if it's say a tiny home, um, it can also be used for parking, but also kind of like a additional patio space or under house storage. So let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and start placing our structural columns um, so you can see how big um, the elevated house will be. So um, this four plate right here and this four plate right here um, will have basically columns at each edge. So I'll go ahead and define this one right here for you. This one right here, um, this one right here, this one right here, this one right here. And I'll zoom in so you guys are able to see a little bit more clearly. And right there, so let me zoom in real quick. All right, so basically, you um, have one, two, three, four columns in between each, then four spaces to columns. So for the center, we're using double columns. And um, for these edges, it'll be single columns. So our staircase, so movement through the space will happen. Um, you'll drive in, um, you'll park, and you'll come out to this entrance right here where you'll walk up the stairs. So we can go ahead and build that stair assembly. So I'm gonna use a half wall right there, um, half wall just across. And um, we're gonna get the back of that landing. So we'll have a landing area right here. And there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the first row of stairs. So um, the first staircase that we'll place will be closest to us or the camera. So it's gonna go right there. So right there, so you'll be able to walk right up the stairs. And on top of that, we're gonna have our row second place going up in the other direction. So starting from right here is where the house or art studio will begin. And so we'll actually have a piece for that. So I've connected a two um, to a four. And then so that will um, come later. And so the house itself is going to be a um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by four. So this whole nine by four is going to rest on top of our structural columns there. So we can go ahead and start building that house up and we'll put that off to the side and I'll show you kind of um, the floor plan that we have proposed here. So um, let's go ahead and start off with our two corner walls. We'll go ahead and place that right there and right here. So. Next to that, um, we're going to have double windows, and those are going to go right next to each other to create that. Um, then we're going to polish it off with a corner. So say if this is the um, tiny home, um, where this, this will be the master bedroom area. If it's the art gallery, it'll just be a second room to where the gallery space is. So, on the back wall, we're gonna have another um, picture window. And then we're gonna start to um, build up the perimeter of either the bathroom, if it's a home. Um, I guess it could be a bathroom if it's the art gallery too, or a storage closet. So go ahead and uh, do that. And then we'll put a door so you're able to get it. All right, so this is basically the floor plan that we have so far. So next to that, um, we're gonna place a wall, and then we're gonna have a window, and then we're gonna have um, two walls, and then another window. So if you look on the outside, um, our windows are going to be balanced. So we'll have wall, window, wall, wall, window, wall, wall, window, wall. And so that means on this side right here, it's going to be a corner. I'll 
zoom out a bit. All right, so I think we're gonna have this right here. So it's gonna be on the corner. And in fact, this part right here, so this, um, these six panels right here is going to be part of the outside of the structure. So only this area right here is going to be, um, I guess, inside. The whole thing will be under a roof. So we'll put up a kind of a large fly right there on top. But um, this section is going to be part of the patio, which is going to be attached. Um, and then this is going to connect to the stairs on the outside. So we'll go ahead and um, do that. So let's start finishing up this side right here. So we have a window right here. So we're going to have a window across. Um, then we're going to have keep dropping pieces today. All right. So we're going to drop this wall right here, um, another wall right here. And then we're going to have a window. And then right here is going to be something cool. So we're going to use these pieces right here. Um, I haven't used them in quite a while, so this is the perfect model for it. So we're going to uh, place it as a corner to create that corner, um, the corner window. And this um, is now acting in place as sort of like um, glazing. So it could be. Um, Either of these could be like glass doors and stuff like this. So we're going to have the corner, but now in the opposite direction. And then next to that, we're going to place a door. Um, this is just to mimic this uh, sort of interaction right here that, we, that we've been creating. So um, either one of these could be a door. Um, it's whatever one that you would decide. And then we'll finish it off with the corner. Um, right there. So this whole structure right here that we built is going to be placed on top of there. So this is kind of what the home um, will look like, the home or art studio. So if it's an art studio, um, I can see like a really nice gallery space right here. Um, you can have like a storage closet or a complimentary bathroom. If it's kind of a smaller, tiny home or something like that, um, this could be the kitchen area. Um, this could be kind of like dining, um, maybe living room over here and um, master bedroom right there, as well as the bathroom right there. So um, this building could work um, either function, depending on what you would um, want to choose or build it for. So um, I guess now we're ready to attach it to the top. So let's go ahead and bring back our, our plate. And you want to be gentle, so make sure all of your um, floor plates are pinned together. And we're going to basically go from corner to corner and basically attach all of the columns. So we do have a one unit overhang um, on that side. And if you've done everything correctly, everything should line up pretty easily. And you should have a pretty um, solid structure right there. You should be able to push down anywhere and um, none of it will collapse, hopefully. <laughs> so as I mentioned before, I have this four plate connected with a two. So this is just to, I guess, represent a six. If you have another six, um, you can use that. And this is going to pin um, right here. So since it's hanging over nothing, um, we're gonna be a little bit careful and we're gonna underpin um, in, a, I think, three spots. So we'll have this place, um, this place, and we'll go ahead and bring one closer to where um, the actual stairs are. So right there, so three three locations. We'll go ahead and place this on top. And we'll pin the stairs to that. And we'll go ahead and lock it down with some pins on the top. And after that, we should be all good. All right, so next. Um, we need to provide safety railings. So we'll start where the stairs are. So we'll use um, these glass railings right here. And we'll go ahead and give some um, safety railings for the people so they don't fall off. And we'll go ahead and do that for the extent there. So right here. And I'll go ahead and cut to when it's finished. All right, and we are back. So I just finished up the railings right here. Um, next, um, we have two types of roofs. So we're gonna have a flat roof on this more um, right section, and then we're gonna have a slightly tilted roof on the left. So we can go ahead and start prepping that flat roof and just pin it directly to the structure. 
So I have these four plates and I'm just gonna stack them uh, right on top. So we'll put one right there. Um, I like to, I'm gonna tackle this side right here because this side's gonna be a little bit more complicated. And uh, this should pin relatively easy if we got everything lined up. And there we go. All right, and then this is just gonna be two pinning to two walls. So pretty simple. Um, to avoid this from shaking, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, top pin um, the four, four areas right here. And then after that, um, we should be good. So we can go ahead and tile that. Um, I'm running out of tiles, so I have to use these um, angle tiles to um, accomplish the rest. So I'll put three tiles in the back. I'm gonna zoom out so you can so you can see. And then um, when you put two of these angle tiles together, you can actually cover three tile spaces. So a little, a little hack if you're running out of um, normal tiles. And so we can go ahead and do that. And you kind of get a cool little pattern on top. So there we go. Um, so for here, I'm gonna go ahead and go around the perimeter by um, doing our wall extender pieces. So I'll go tackle, make sure you get every corner um, pretty much set up. And then um, anything in between, so connecting two walls will be the, um, the larger connector piece. So I'll go ahead and cut to when I'm finished with that. All right, and here is where pretty much everything's all set up. Um, we have this corner area, so I put basically two um, two corner pieces. And so to avoid that from shaking, I'm going to go ahead and take a connector tile and basically pin each one of those pegs. So it basically locks it into place, and then you should be good to go. So um, if that's causing any problems, um, there's a solution on how to fix that. Um, so here, this piece right here and this piece right here, if this wall is causing any problems, um, you can go ahead and pin that to the actual um, plate. So we can do that for um, both sides. And come on. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tile that back. So. Um, next, we have this roof right here. So you can use your half walls. Um, I 3D printed something a little bit more shallow. This is just be like a one foot equivalent. And so I'm just gonna place your half walls, um, one, two, and three. Um, Cause right here, we won't need um, anything. So just to pitch it up very slightly. And so the actual roof that we're gonna be placing on here, um, is going to be a one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five, six. And so this entire roof is going to go um, on top. So it'll provide some overhang and cover to that section there. So this is, this is what you should get when you're pretty much done. And um, so I have two holes right here. These are just to represent landscape and trees. I'll go ahead and place a um, larger tree um, and then a smaller tree um, right next to that. I can go ahead and polish that off. I'm going to lower the camera so you get a, a lower point of view so you'll be able to see um, the structure. So I'll be right back. All right, and here we are. So this is basically the finished model. So um, I'm going to say it's an art studio. Um, so you'll come in, drive here, you'll have parking underneath the actual structure. Um, you'll have a really cool gallery space um, with storage or a bathroom in between. And um, yeah, you'll have your movement all the way up. You have this patio right here. Um, this is, could be a sidewalk to get to where the parking is. Um, we have a little bit of these retaining walls. Um, maybe you can plant stuff that can be green walls and something. You can even change these to probably you know a higher wall with some, um, if you're pretending it's gonna be a green wall. Um, you could even tile this off and um, start putting railings, and this can be like an outside patio. Um, you could even have um, this part open and have stairs come down to that, um, if you so choose. So a lot of different possibilities for what you could do. Um, I really like this shallow roof right here, um, the windows right here. We, we didn't use any glass pieces except for the railings this time around, so this, this would be a cool um, build if you don't like using those glass pieces. Um, but overall, I really like this model. 
yeah, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.